Hello and welcome back to Home and Away, where I am here for another episode. This time, I'm in the Scottish Junior Leagues. Well, it's now called the West of Scotland Football League. Darvel take on Auchinleck Talbot, first versus second. Three points separate both teams. If you don't know what to expect, here's a quick preview. <laughs> Right, we're three quarters of the way there. Um, I'm actually in Kilmarnock just now. Just dropped off and I'm going to go and get the bus into Darvo. So, 10 minute journey and we should be in Darvo for an absolute cracker of a match. Three points separating them both. I'll not get into it too much as I'm going to give you a preview when I get there. See you in a couple of minutes. Not good. Right, so we're in the stadium, uh, just got in seven pounds, not too bad indeed. Uh, as you can see, we're in. Beautiful wee stadium to be honest with you. See before the game, we've got about half an hour, I'm going to give you a quick preview. So, Darvel currently sit in second place. Uh, three points separate them from Talbot. They're in the Premier Division, so both teams obviously the top of the West Scotland Football League. Used to be the Junior League. Now they've got the prospect of moving up into the Lowland League, so everything's to play for, to be honest with you. So, I win tonight for Talbot, we'll see them go six points clear. <laughs> we'll see them go six points clear. Um, I win tonight for Darvel, we'll see them go... D Darvel? Darvel, we'll see them go level. So, as I said already, everything's to play for here. Massive match. As you can see, the pitch is in pristine condition. So... Got a wee bit of rain, but I think everything should be all good. I'm going to go and get a couple of interviews off the fans, see what they're saying to it, and I'll catch you in a minute. So, introduce yourself, what's your names? Uh, I'm Woods, and I'm Aaron. Right, both Darvel World Boys. Um, you obviously know what the script is tonight. Massive game. Aye. Are you confident? Aye, what do you mean? Three Aye. points in it. Uh, who have we to look out for today? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who's fat yet because some of the boys only fat. But... You think the game will be on with the rain? Aye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Talbot obviously three points ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Must win tonight, isn't it? Aye, uh, it's a must win. 
Are we going for a prediction? What's your prediction going to be? I'm saying 3-1. 2-1. 2-1 double. Boys, enjoy the rain, enjoy the game. <laughs> what a day to just bring a hoodie, eh? <laughs> Good laugh, this. Right, introduce yourself. I'm Dylan. Big Talbot fan. I see Aye. the flag in the background, as you can see. <laughs> uh, three points ahead, but it's not. Obviously, over the finishing line, so tonight no. it has to be a must win. A big six point of the day. I mean, if you, if you win this, it's still, the league's still no buy yet, so hopefully we get a few points here and make the gap bigger. Right, who have we to look out for? Uh, Mick Wardrop, you know, Graham Walsh and Brian Boylan up front, speed, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So hopefully they can do a favour of the day. Are you confident getting into today's game? I wouldn't say confident, but. I'm feeling alright about it today, so... Mm. What's your prediction? Three po as long as I get three points, I'm not killing the score, as long as I get three points. Yeah? Aye. Enjoy the game. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I'm pretty sure it was sunny before I came out. <laughs> no chance of that now. Look at me. Absolutely soaking. Some laugh. <laughs> Oh, 
Half time, man, to just yourself. Two words. Neil Young. Neil Young. Born and raised in Darvel. Steen Goldstein. Right. Come visit in Darvel. So, two words to Darvel. Obviously, you need to win this game if you want to go level with Talbot. Is that the perfect start? Yeah, definitely. It's a hard game tonight. You know, Talbot's a really, really good team, but we're up for the game tonight. It's a must-win game for us. So, it is. So, uh, aye, hopefully, we'll get the three points tonight. What do you think of the first half performance? I think Darvel was well in the game. They got a couple of a goal there back down, we've got a couple of really good goals, you know, so aye, they're playing well the boys. And what about this team, obviously, Darvo, it wasn't as big before, a lot of money's been put into it, you look at the stadium, the, the ground now, it's it's wonderful, the facilities, what does, that, what does that mean to you as a fan? Well, I'm friendly with the guy who's putting in, you know, supporting it and, you know, the, the, John Bowles this year, you know, I'm fairly of that. I'm fed Arvo, but I support them as a boy, but you know, coming back to the to the team in the rest and see what Darwin's doing and John's putting the money in and all the rest, it's great for the, the community. It's great for, look at the support tonight. Oh, it's a Monday night, look at it. It's you look, you look, look around and you see the size of the support, I mean, for a local club. a lot of support as well, but a lot of people here as well tonight. It's great, absolutely great for the community. So, what's your prediction going into the end of the game? Well, Talbot will come out fighting and take it in half for sure, but we need to get the win tonight, so hopefully another goal for the Darvo. Right, thank you very much, enjoy the rest of the game. Right, so we're here with... PG and Dak. Aye, what's happening to It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, introduce yourself. PG and Dak, you do the podcast. Aye. Low leagues. Tell us a bit about your YouTube. You on your go, you go for nah, it. Just, we just, we like to cover the rest of Scotland mainly, and it's just a bit of light hearted fun. You know, especially with me, it's a bit of You love the partner, don't you? Nah, you're more about the partner, not I me. Mean, you need to make it, you need to make it fun and not take yourself, yourself too serious, but also it's good to get out and get run about the places and meet all the characters, not so we love doing it, don't we? I know, no, but I, you, you're obviously out doing some more stuff, you know what I mean? How much do you enjoy doing this? Uh-huh. It's great being out of oh, games. See, to be honest with you, right, I've been to Man City, I've been uh, over to Ireland, Cliffordville and all this. Nothing beats non league football, does it? Oh, easily the best. Easily the best. The, ca- the characters you meet, man, the hospitality you get is always amazing. So man, close to the club, but everybody's just a family feeling, isn't it? No, definitely. Brilliant. That's right, everybody makes you feel so welcome when you Unless come Unless you're Talbot, you know, Talbot fans, man. It's getting tasty, isn't it? It's getting tasty, man. You look how close you are to the game as well. It's just, you're literally right there. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. So, this game. I think this is the biggest game of the season in the league. Oh, I think I doubt, innit? I think I doubt. Good game. I thought Talbot started the better side and, and then Darvel drew into it and showed bits of quality. Big Leishman cut a good save. Sorry, man, not even in there. Sorry, mate. So, who do you think's going to win at the end? I think Darvel will win. I think Darvel will win. They're 2 1 up to now. Talbot need to come out and go at them and maybe that just sets up for Darvel to pick them off the net. I think we might see a 3 2 draw. But I'm going to say it's going to be a draw. Aye, I'm going to say it's going to be a draw. Aye, I'm going to say it's going to be a draw. Aye, I'm going to say it's going to be a draw. Aye, I'm going to say it's going to be a draw. Aye, I'm going to say it's going to be a draw. Aye, I'm going to say it's going to be a dra
I think it's best if Darvo win it because that takes the two of them only 74 points, 16 games to go. Oh, that Tight as in, brilliant for the season. Boys, thank you very much. Well, thank you, cheers, my boy. Keep it up. Thanks, my boy. Cheers. 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 Just cause you can eat oh, you Right, so we're here with the Darvo manager. Mick, are you happy about tonight's result? Well, I think to be honest with you, I'd have preferred to get three points, Aye. to be fair. Probably in the context of the league, I think probably three points are more important to us than Weatherall can lick. But I, I think for the new troops, a great game of football to watch, to yeah. watch you. Four goals, eh? Uh, what about that second goal? Ah, listen, that, Ian's capable of that, to be fair, that quick interplay, one touch stuff, then a great finish to tap corner right, it was a great move, great finish. Yeah, um, obviously you're 2-1 up at half time going in, you're looking to get another one, do you think there was any chance of squander, do you think you could have? I think Big Allen's got a great chance of one, Andy pulls off some saved at the bottom corner to be fair, but you, you need, to score, need to score that, but, and, but as I say, and, Andy Leishman again tonight, you see how he's one of the obvious, I think he's actually one of the best goalkeepers in the country, and even mm -hmm. the level just across the country, the size of him. it's exceptional, uh, and getting done so quickly, uh, but aye, listen, it's, it was a great game of football to watch, even for standing aside at the park, but I prefer, but I preferred three points. But listen, we move on to Wednesday now. Yep, so Wednesday, big match. Um, 
three points needed again. I think so. I see there's obviously six games to go now. Uh, I think there'll be points dropped somewhere. Don't line be one is it? The, but we'll just see who manages the next six weeks. Probably the best. So I. But we move on to Rob Roy, who have had a really good few weeks as well. So I. But a difficult game going up there. Mm, how's the back rooster gone? Everything's gone well, mate. It's got it's grown across the country. I'm selling plenty of chicken, so it's all positive. Right. Good luck. I mean, get yourself a bit of chicken, chicken and rice for black rooster. Exceptional. Love man. it. Take Love it. Money. Right. Right, so just interviewed uh, manager Mick Kennedy. That is the end of the game, finished two each. What a game. Still six games to go in the season, so yeah, it's all to play for. Four goals couldn't have asked for any more tonight, to be honest. Look at this ground. Wow. For a junior stadium, this is just remarkable. Look at the facilities here. Yep, so there's nothing else for me to do. I've just been in the clubhouse, got a nice wee cup of tea here. Thank you very much, Darville, for looking after me after the game. And what an experience. Um, I'm just looking forward to getting back and giving you my full review. I'll see you back at the house. Welcome back. It is the next day. And as you know, how we do, we do the post-match review. What a game. Unbelievable. Seven pound entry. Four goals. Drama. Dogs abuse for the players. Over 2,000 fans for a Scottish junior game, West of Scotland Football League. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for any more. Um, Darvo and Talbot, they're just a level above anybody in that league. I think they know it themselves. Uh, the quality of football on show was remarkable. And you'll see, you obviously seen with the goal, Darvo's goal, the total football, one touch, two touch still. Unreal. Yeah, so, you know how we do. There's five factors I'm going to be reviewing for you. Why don't I get straight into it? Okay, so the first factor we're going to be doing is football. So, football. What was the football like on show? As I've already said, unbelievable. Um, for that level, it was not West of Scotland Football League. It was Scottish Championship, at the very least. The players that were playing, Darvo have obviously put a lot of money into their team. Um, we all know that. They've got ex-Championship, ex-Premiership players in their team, so... There is always going to be a higher level. Ocken like Talbot are obviously they've been running the junior leagues for ages. They've 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 won I don't know how many Scottish Junior Cups. They just won they've been winning the league year on year on year. So now with the promotion things are going to be a bit different. In terms of the football, the only thing I would be annoyed about is the fact nobody found a winner. That's how good a game it was. Four goals. Um and for that reason I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. Second we are going to be talking about price. So, £7 entry. Wow. Wow. £7 for entry. That's it's unheard of in football, to be honest with you. You pay £20, even £30 nowadays. £7 is remarkable. Eh, and to add to that, you had the snacks at the end. So, what the junior teams, the smaller clubs, what I love about them is they have food. They are complimentary for people at the end. It's obviously for the players and stuff after the game. But it's for anybody to have um, in the, the bar after the game. So I love that. Um, very good hospitality. That was all included. £3.50 for a Kelly Pie and a Darvo Empire Biscuit. So it wasn't just a normal Empire Biscuit. It was a Darvo Empire Biscuit. Big difference there. Uh, I would have paid a tenner for it, to be honest with you. Just a Kelly Pie and a personalised... Empire Basket, you can't go wrong with that at all. So, in terms of price, I'm going to give that a solid 10 out of 10. Right, so in terms of atmosphere, eh, I was quite disappointed, to be honest with you. Two, over 2,000 people were in. Um, that's remarkable. That That is unheard of in the Scottish Law Leagues, especially. You've got League 1 and League 2 games getting 400 fans in. So, getting 2,000 to a West of Scotland Football League game is unreal. Uh, in terms of atmosphere, I would say, nah, it wasn't there. After both goals, um, th there were songs, etc. But apart from that, it was quite dry. The only atmosphere there was is players getting dogs abuse, which I did love. You don't get that much um, in the higher leagues, but 
all game, they were just getting at the players. And even after the game, I was in the clubhouse, and the boy that was giving Auckland like Talbot's goalie uh, dogs abuse, he was slaughtering them all game. He pulled him aside, he was like, oh, hope you enjoyed it and all that. It was a bit of banter, you know, and they both shook hands and fine. So I loved that about it. It was a good atmosphere. So in terms of that, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, so onto the third factor, which is food. So, Kelly, uh, Darvel, sorry, are sponsored by a local company called Brownings. Brownings the Bakers. If you don't know them, they make the Kelly Pie, which is famous. Everybody goes to Kilmarnock to get the Kelly Pie. So, Darvel obviously was supplying the Kelly Pie as well from Brownings. This one was even better. I don't know if you've seen my Air United versus Kilmarnock vlog, the Ayrshire Derby. If you've not, go and check it out. But I tried the Kelly Pie there. This one was even better than the actual Kelly Pie. Remarkable. Um, the Empire Biscuit, uh, that was just perfect. Right amount of jam, and you could tell it was made by a baker's, and it wasn't like a, a packet rubbish one, you know? So, in that case, I'm going to give a food a 10 out of 10. Definitely the best yet. Okay, so last but not least, we have facilities. Facilities, you you will fail to find better facilities at that level um, than what was on offer. It's unbelievable what Darvo have done to that club. I mean, you even look at when I've I've just done the, uh, the Google Earth photo when it comes in at the start of the video, and it shows you what it used to be like. It was derelict, it wasn't looked after, and they've now turned it into a proper st a ground. That ground is fit enough for League 2 in Scotland, to be honest with you. Yeah, if they're hoping to move up the leagues, I think um, they've got it spot on. The one thing I would be looking for more is shelter. There was no shelter for away fans, which was bad. There was shelter for home fans, but for away fans over the other side, there was none. And it was absolutely bucketing down. And yeah, that, it wasn't good at all. Um, if they want to attract big, bigger crowds, they're going to need to invest in more shelter. But in terms of facilities... And it, without the shelter, um, just talking about the facilities there, everything was spot on. So I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me on this video. If you've got this far, you've obviously enjoyed that a wee bit, haven't you? Uh, do me a massive favour, click that like button if you did enjoy the video. And if you enjoyed the video even more, click that subscription button. If you're new to the channel, just click the subscription button. Because um, you've obviously got this far, so you have enjoyed it, and that means you won't miss out on any other videos. Helps me, and it helps you not to miss any. Eh, uh, where would you like to see me go next? If you are watching and you're not a Darvo or an Auckland Lake fan, if you're a fan from another club in Scotland, England, Ireland, Wales, maybe, comment down below and tell me you would like me to go next. Until then, it's a goodbye from me.